hard to believe we're in California. Our names are Mike and Heather. We're traveling the US in our van Appa on a mission to visit all 50 states. Subscribe and join us as we try to figure out this whole van life thing. As always, thanks for watching. Hello and welcome to San Diego. We just finished Route 66 and that put us down at the Santa Monica Pier in LA. In between our Route 66 trip and driving down to San Diego, we actually were in Anaheim where we spent two days in Disneyland. It was really cool to see all the cars themed sections of the park as we just finished up Route 66. It was cool because because there was that Route 66 feeling there and we got to see a lot of the sights as they were depicted in the Cars movie that we saw the inspiration for while we were on Route 66. So it was a really good time, we had a lot of fun, but we made our way down to San Diego to start driving the Pacific Coast by way of the Pacific Coast Highway. Technically, the Pacific Coast Highway, according to everything that we saw online, starts at Dana Point, which is just below Los Angeles, but we drove a little bit further to San Diego and our first stop is Mexico. Mexican food. We stopped at a place called the taco stand that had a line out the door so that's how you know it's good to experience the closest thing to Mexican tacos that we can get this side of the border. So we have a nopal taco. I'm probably saying that completely wrong but I think it's a cactus. We got a cheese quesadilla, we got churros, and then we got a pound of chips. <laughs> so we went with some vegetarian options today which we're really excited about. This is mine? Yeah, so you get to try the cactus. Is it good? Mm -hmm. I've never had cactus before. That's good. The taco shell is really nice. We actually saw them pressing them by hand. It's almost like they put a bunch of like really fresh salsa in there and then the cheese and then the perfect taco shell. Really great start. Next is our quesadilla. It's good. It's about the same as the ones that we have back home, but I feel like you can't really get a bad quesadilla anywhere. We still have quesadilla to eat, but these came out fresh and hot. And I kind of want to get a bite of them really quick. We also got churros. <laughs> it's really good. Oh yeah. These are absolutely fantastic. The sauce is so good. Honestly, every bit of food that we got from this restaurant mm -hmm. has just been awesome. It's so doughy, like it's it's, it's next <laughs> level. A plus. <laughs> We are parked here at the Tide Pools. They're best viewed at low tide, but we're going to see them at whatever the tide is right now because that's what time we got here. It should be really cool. I'm excited to walk over there. And once we're finished here, we're actually gonna get on the road, head up the Pacific Coast to the start of the Pacific Coast Highway, which is Dana Point, just south of LA. You better turn to the other side. This was actually a really cool stop. It was nice, it was pretty mellow. There was a bunch of people parked enjoying the sunset, enjoying the beach and enjoying the tide pool. So I really liked it. There was a lot of fun things to see and I think this was definitely a worthwhile stop and I'm glad that we made our way down to Southern California. It was a nice little taste of what we're going to be getting along the Pacific Highway, literally and figuratively. I'm very excited to be bordering the Pacific Ocean this entire time and traveling up it. I can sense that there's a lot more tide pools to come, but now we're actually heading to our boondocking site. Unfortunately, it's not gonna be beautiful and beachside because here in San Diego, they were actually pretty strict on boondocking and parking in the streets. So we're actually heading to a Home Depot, but at least the views will be beautiful all the way there. It's only you and me. No one else can bother us to step on our feet. Oh no, step on our feet. So we made a little detour on our way to Home Depot because we finally found a car wash. We have been looking forever for one since our Route 66 trip. It's pretty dirty. The Grand Canyon left it quite dusty. And dirt roads that we took randomly along the way as well. Yes, it's pretty dirty. So finally we get to clean it by ourselves. There's a lot of 
drive through car washes in California, and but even not too many. Wash ones. Yeah, but not too many self serve ones. But we can't go through the automatic ones because we have solar panels on the top. So finally, we found one where we can do it ourselves. So let's get do this. <laughs> So change of plans, we are no longer staying at the Home Depot. It was listed on iOverlander as a spot to be, but when we pulled in, there was a bunch of signs saying otherwise. So we drove a little bit further up towards Dana Point and we're now at a rest stop. It was a good day. We had a lot of fun in Southern California and are ready to start our Pacific Coast Highway journey tomorrow. Good morning. We are continuing on up towards Los Angeles this morning where we will hopefully officially start our Highway 101, Pacific Coast Highway, California Highway 1 road trip up towards the top end of the country along the Pacific Ocean. I have no idea how we're gonna stay on it. <laughs> Unlike Route 66, the Pacific Coast Highway does not have a navigation system all the way up, at least not one that we know of, so hopefully we can follow the signs and stay on this for as much as possible, because that's the goal. I think the good thing with this is it should just be this road, so we'll see how it goes. But I think one of the things that we're doing with the Pacific Coast Highway is after being super hard sticklers on Route 1 and Route 66, this one we're going to try and like be a little bit more mellow. We just really want to drive the coastline up the west coast. So the Pacific Coast Highway is a fantastic way to do that and we're really excited to see all of the sights along it. But I don't think we're gonna freak out if we get off and have to get back on. Oh, I wanted to be in the right hand lane. Oh, look at there's the sign, Pacific Coast Highway. Oh, okay. Right road. So, I think we just go straight. Can confirm, you first start seeing the Pacific Coast Highway signs from Dana Point. So if you are wanting to do a coastal Pacific Highway route along California, I think it definitely starts in Dana Point, not San Diego, but San Diego is definitely worth the stop for those tacos alone. And also, Take all of this with a big grain of salt because we no, could be doing this completely wrong. So you thought you got it made for easy living slipping out the back door. But it's not what you made for, and there's nothing that is too late for. So we've been making our way up the coast and have been taking in all the cool sites. We actually drove past a couple of the beaches that we have heard the names of in movies, so that was a really cool experience. We were actually going to pull off and go to Venice Beach and do roller skating, which is the cliche thing to do here in California, but uh, as soon as we got close to it, it was very, very crowded and we really couldn't find any parking spots and we're very excited to keep making our way up north, so we made the executive decision to keep on going, but we just passed Santa Monica Pier which we did get a chance to visit for a little bit at the end of our Route 66 trip. So if you don't know, Route 66 ends on Santa Monica Pier and we drove the entire way down and got our certificate from there. So Santa Monica Pier is always going to hold a very special place in our hearts but for now we're saying bye bye and we're heading up north. It is really cool to see the California vibe. We got people walking around barefoot, even across heavy trafficked expressways to get to the other side because that's the beach to go surfing. You got people on bikes with two surfboards on each side. So it's very cool just to be taking in all the sights as we're making our way up the Pacific Coast Highway as well. So I think we've got about a little under two hours to go to get to Santa Barbara. Hopefully we'll get up that way and be able to catch the sunset and also find a nice place to sleep tonight. Hopefully there's a little bit more in terms of boondocking options up north of LA. There wasn't really too much where we were last night between San Diego and LA so we ended up at a rest stop but I'm excited for some of those beach type spots to wake up in the morning too. We're in Malibu. I love the cold 
also known as where Miley Cyrus lives. <laughs> So we stopped at a Burger King here. We're still making our way to Santa Barbara, but we figured we're starving, so we've pulled over. No fancy tacos for now, but Burger King will have to do. In the meantime, we're actually looking for a boondocking site. We've been reading online that Santa Barbara and kind of like this whole coast isn't very friendly to boondockers. So, and we can see it firsthand with all the no overnight parking here, just in the Burger King and a surrounding plaza. So we're gonna have to do some digging in I Overlander and then also some digging into this food. <laughs> It says a great overlook with amazing views of sunset, but I don't know if we're gonna make it to sunset or not. Or there's these ones, but it says that there's some hairpin turns, so I wouldn't want to do it at like dark, but depending on when we get there, it might be. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Yeah, that one would be cool. So let's aim for that one. Life is a winding road, no telling where it goes. Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights We are now headed to our boondocking site which is a little bit off of Highway 1 and up into the mountains a little bit so we're already starting to climb up this steep road. Some of the reviews said that it is quite steep and our van doesn't necessarily love hills so this ought to be interesting. Very pretty up here though. I think we've never really had trouble going uphill, we just can't go uphill very fast. Appa made it through the backcountry byway, which was really up into the hills back in Arizona. And I, I really wanna know, really wanna know If I let me figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of freaking out. I don't like heights, and this is like literal cliff on the right side, and... Uh, what a view, though. Yeah, it's pretty, but I want to appreciate it once we get there alive, and then I'll look over the side. We made it to the top, we're almost at the red dot on the map, and there's another van, so I know that we're not gonna be alone up here, which is great. It is a pretty cool view, but it was terrifying getting up here. This is really unreal. I think this is what we were hoping to find as we came to this side of the country. We've passed houses that are undoubtedly millions of dollars, and mm. here we are at the top of this mountain getting a similar view from Appa. <laughs> so the oceans over there looks amazing. There's the, the city down there. I just, I think these are the moments that we were looking for. Even if the sky is falling down part's gonna be driving down in the morning. It's a lot easier to put everything into bed mode when we can actually have the doors open and aren't trying to do it in a parking lot with all the doors closed. We're gonna bring up our laptops, maybe watch a little bit of TV, maybe work on a vlog since we're a little bit behind already and just have a relaxing night here. We had an awesome first day of driving along the Pacific Coast Highway. The views were incredible. This parking spot is maybe the best we've ever stayed at. Tomorrow, we're going to be exploring Santa Barbara, which I'm very excited about, and Mike is gonna go surfing. What time is it? It is 11.39, and the wind is really blowing up here. The van is like getting shaken back and forth. You can see all of like the things we have hanging, moving as the van is, but... Not too bad, I think. <laughs> <laughs> it's so loud.
Not a bad spot to wake up to this morning. Now for the scary part of this morning, making our way down the same way we came up. At least we're hugging the side and it's not an overlook of death anymore, but um, still not feeling the best about this. I do much prefer this side though. So far I haven't seen any scary cliffs outside of my window. <laughs> like that one there. A new place, a new home, for a while, let me feel alive. Nothing to hold me back, take my time, just enjoy the ride. So we came down into Santa Barbara this morning. We weren't able to get a surf lesson. Everything was all booked up, so we're gonna try again, maybe in the next stop. But we got to walk around town. They had a cool little craft fair going on. We walked out to the end of the pier. It was really cool to just kind of get out and stretch our legs a little bit near the ocean, so it was a lot of fun. The plan today was to hang out around Santa Barbara, maybe try surfing, hang out at the beach. But now because that is kind of not happening, we're gonna keep heading up the coast to Pismo Beach, where I looked up and that was our next stop for tomorrow. We're just going to get there a little bit earlier to enjoy that area because tomorrow I did see that they do have surf lessons available. So we're going to head that way now. I know man, passing by, life is good, best I've ever felt. Get me up, so in it, so I can find myself. So we made it to Pismo Beach, or at least the campground here in Pismo Beach. We're gonna explore some of the beach and the town itself tomorrow, but today we're gonna enjoy the campground and all the amenities that come with it, including a space to be able to cook and a shower, which we are both in desperate need of at this point in time. Because we are both starving, we're gonna start with food. We actually didn't necessarily plan to come to this location tonight. We're at the Pismo State Beach, Oceano, I'll have to check it out to, to verify, but we weren't planning on being at this location, but we kind of have been playing today by ear, which we're sort of excited to be doing. We've wanted to have a little bit more of a laid back trip up the coast than what we've been doing with Route 66, where we were very on a timeline and had specific stops that we knew we had to get to each night. So for this to be a little bit more laid back is a lot more our speed that we were hoping for as we got to this part of, of this journey. So that's been really cool. And we're actually really fortunate to find this location because we're looking for places to stay tonight. And Heather had actually come across this one and it probably was a cancel because it wasn't there earlier in the day, but when she was searching this afternoon, it came up. It all ended up working out really well, and tomorrow I think we're gonna try and do the surfing, we're gonna check out the sites locally, but for tonight, we're just going to be able to enjoy being on the dunes, maybe catch the sunset, and have a bit of an earlier sort of end to the day, if you will, than the last couple nights which have ended after dark. One of the best parts is we have electric to our campground, so I'm gonna go hook up the shore power now as well. Heather is doing that. I am going to sweep out our van because it has not had that in the last couple days. up after dinner and we're now walking to the beach because this campsite does have beach access to watch the sunset. <laughs> Where our van is parked is actually right up against a lagoon as well so it's really cool to kind of bird watch as we were eating and now we're very excited to 
go catch the sunset, which is now setting, so hopefully we can make it there. <laughs> <laughs> I think we have about 20 minutes before it's fully down over the horizon, but we're not too far away from the actual beach point, so I don't think we'll miss it. <laughs> hopefully, as long as we don't get lost. <laughs> This is a good a day as any to start the rebuilding life. The roads that lay open are many when the old ones gone under the night. And I can feel so much. Wow. <laughs> you can't get up here. Wow. Look at the sun. Look at the cars on there. You can actually drive your cars on the dune, and I'm so excited to do that tomorrow in our van. Our first Pacific Coast sunset because we've been getting in too late to see it elsewhere, and I almost fell. That was not very graceful. That's it. It's hard to believe we're in California. It's very surreal to think that we are in California on the completely opposite coast of our home, sitting watching a beautiful sunset over the Pacific Ocean, our feet in the sand. Very grateful to be here today. This has just sort of felt like what we were hoping for the whole time, building the van, the van back out in New York and thinking about the boondocking sites and the, the views that we were gonna get just from places that weren't home is just really amazing to finally be here. It's really cool too because you can see all of the cars that are just allowed to like drive on the beach. And I'm very excited because we're gonna do that tomorrow in Appa. Of you wipe out. We have one dollar, which gets us six minutes in the shower. We have a couple twenty dollar bills and lots of quarters for laundry, but the token machine for the shower system only takes one dollar bills, and there's not anywhere to exchange or make change. And if you put in any of the other larger bills, it doesn't give change back. So we have six minutes to take our long anticipated shower. Can we do it? I mean, any shower is better than nothing, even a six minute shower. <laughs> In case you were wondering, the answer is no. <laughs> when the water went off, I literally could not even believe it because we had two minutes left and I was not expecting that to happen. But all is well that ends well, I guess. I'm showered and my hair is not filled with shampoo, so I think we can go to sleep happy. <laughs> So it turns out a dollar gets you two minutes each, not three. And um, thankfully, we were able to wash out all the shampoo, but it was quite a funny experience. But now we gotta get this van ready for bed mode because we have an early morning tomorrow where Mike's gonna do some surfing. With that, we are going to call it a night. We have an early morning with an early appointment at Pismo Beach for surf lessons, or at least I do. So we will see you tomorrow morning. Thank you so much for joining us on this first part of our California leg of the Pacific Coast Highway. We've really, really enjoyed it, and we're so looking forward to the rest of our adventures on this journey north along the Pacific Ocean. So we'll see you next time.